Okay, I'm ready for my close-up. This is my close-up. Don't shake your head and roll your eyes at me. Cut to the intro! Hello there, this is C7 Viper here with Mabel the cow t-shirt and behind the camera as always is my lovely wife Alexis and we are here for the C7 Viper Rewind look back on the year 2020. It's been a big year for me when it comes to airsoft YouTube stuffs. That includes you guys. I just wanted to take a look back and highlight some of the stuff you might have missed or some of your favorite moments that we shared this year 2020. You know that year that everyone loved so much. But first, I can't get started unless you click subscribe. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The guy who watches all the videos but never actually clicks subscribe. Come on, don't you just want to join the party? I know there's people like that because that's what she does. Alexis always does that. Watches, I don't even know if she's subscribed to my channel. Are you subscribed to my channel? Of course. Oh, okay. Just like everyone else should be. So go subscribe so that we can hit 20K by midnight on New Year's Eve and beat 2020 in its stupid dumb face. Just to walk you back through this crazy year that we've had, I started out this year with about three and a half thousand subscribers. It's that's some of you guys. There's some OGs out there. You guys comment. You used to watch my zombie videos. You watch the videos from back at the farm. You know what I'm talking about. But then I put up a few different kind of videos that I wouldn't normally do. Unboxings. We got a big box here and we're gonna unbox it. This is everything I had to order for airsoft elimination. For one of the pistols that we're gonna use. This is this is a pretty good get. It is, it's not the gel blaster. It's the Crytek Trident. After I put up those two unboxings, I started to get a little more traction. And I followed that up with my 2019 collection video, which a lot of you seem to like. That's when I did the dual wielding. Dual wielding. Oh crap. Dual wielding. I'm not always the best at it. Two little spins. And from there I decided, if you guys like unboxings, let's go overboard. Just like I do with everything else. Overboard. So I bought a ton of mystery boxes. For this video, I ordered three different $50 mystery boxes. I am here with the big mystery box from Airsoft GI. The gun smells like maple syrup. Does it? Yeah, it's yeah. overwhelming. What's up? I'm back with another unboxing. This time, a Fox $100 mystery box. I brought Alexis to our first ever video filming together this year. She's never been in any of my airsoft videos. And that video was the abandoned airsoft field walkthrough. We used to play airsoft like 10 years ago at an abandoned farm. And since then, it has gotten even more abandoned because we lost the right to play there. So we took a walk down memory lane and she came with me to traverse the jungle that is an overgrown horse farm. I'm recording you, recording me. Recordception. So we're gonna try and head back down the driveway. Let's go. We're getting out of here. So how was it? Your first time at the farm. It was thrilling. <laughs> we won't be doing that again. Then who could forget the time we got married 3,000 feet in the air in a hot air balloon. Take that social distancing. We're way up in the sky. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church and the state of Delaware, it is with great pleasure that I pronounce you husband and wife. You know what to do, make it a good one. <laughs> we did it. This year's airsoft content definitely didn't go the way I thought it would. I had a whole different series of airsoft videos planned out and then everything changed, so I had to roll with it. We were going to do another season of my favorite airsoft reality show, Airsoft Elimination. If you haven't seen that, go back and check out the playlists. There are three full seasons for you to binge. If you like funny stuff and airsoft and crazy competitions that I dream up in my evil mind, you're gonna like it. And we were gonna do a whole new season of that. I had everything planned out. I had a notebook full of crazy challenges. I bought a whole bunch of airsoft guns. I had everything laid out. All the players were ready to go and the date came and went because we weren't allowed to meet up. 
anymore. So I was like, whatever, can't do that now. And everyone liked the unboxings, so I went through and did so many crazy unboxings. Ugh, I'm stuck. God dang it. It is the $1,000 Fox Airsoft Mystery Box. One chip each. And on top of those chips, hot stuff. Mad Dog 357. <coughs> Mid cap. Oh, crap. He's... A while back, I did not want to win the gel blaster from, <laughs> from me, Mike. High five. <laughs> that was cool. And then I made the patch room. You guys were there for that too. That was fun, except for the time the whole wall fell down. That wasn't fun at all. Minor setback where everything kind of fell down. Now I'm gonna have to fix it. This wall's still up though. But most of you joined the team when I put up my most popular video to date, buying the entirety of Shorty USA. It was a little clickbaity because I didn't actually buy the store. The store sold five years ago, people. I bought the owner's remnants of his personal collection and whatever was left from the building when they had to vacate. And it was a room full of stuff. Some of you may remember Shorty USA. It was at one time the largest airsoft retailer in the United States. The owner reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to buy what he had left in storage. I said, sure. Why not? Plus, you guys might want to see it. I really just want to jump on that pile of stuff and play in it like leaves. And a lot of you did subscribe from that video, and I really appreciate it because that got me going. That was like the fuel I needed to continue doing all the crazy airsoft stuff I've always dreamed of. Even if sometimes it hurt my wallet. And from there, we did gameplay. Don't be afraid. Bruh. Yo. That's not a good sound. Giveaways. I'm gonna pick some of this stuff, put it in this box, and this box will get sent to one person. That hurt my foot. What's in the box? What's in the box? I got a P.O. box. You guys sent me a bunch of cool patches. Shout out to every one of you who sent me something cool from a letter all the way up to a mystery box. You guys know who you are. I don't think I can shout everybody out right now even though I want to. There's just so many of you right now. Even the littlest thing, you guys, commenting, subscribing, liking. Every one of those means so much to us. You're here with us as a team celebrating this momentous occasion of 20K. Couldn't have got here without you. Then I went and bought the first thing I saw on every website, but without that, I wouldn't have had a little wrath. So today, we have the best, single greatest airsoft gun of all time, the ZM-01, also known as Lil Wrath. <laughs> This will make you the talk of the town. And a few other really awesome guns. Let's not talk about the one that drops its own mag like every four seconds. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna forget about that part of my life. I'm still embarrassed. Then I went and tried to trade a huge YouTuber for his e-girl pistol. Still haven't heard back from you, Will Any. What's going on? Do you hate puppies? Hand me puppy. Look at this. Will Any, this? This cute little face, she could have went hungry. You don't want to save puppies? What is going on? She's, look at her, she's precious. Look at this, she's crying for the puppy. Look at it. She wants the pink gun, Will. Come on, Will. This is my new puppy lady. We got her for Christmas. She's a good little girl. Everyone loves her. Okay, you gotta go back to mommy. I bought loadouts on Wish. Check out what we did with a Wish. Oh no. It's like more tactical maracas. Ally Express. All Together, this entire loadout that I picked up off AliExpress was $85. Amazon. You gonna put on all of it? She's gonna gear up. We have outfitted her on Amazon for her first game, which I think will be very soon. I bought 20 airsoft pistols in one single trip. That's a lot of stuff. Had to drive two hours for that. I introduced all of you to the Candyman. The Candyman is a character I came up with at a very popular airsoft event in the United States. Most of you know Rev, Swamp Sniper, 
I'm the Candyman. Nice to meet you. We did miss Rev, but you still know who the Candyman is, and the Candyman can. We made a bunch of patches for Rev that didn't get given out. Then we had a wonderful Christmas and did a giveaway. And for me, the holiday isn't over. And I've got a bunch of these patches, and it's New Year's, and I just want to be nice and gift my teammates some patches. So we're going to do a giveaway for like, I don't know, five patches. Yeah, she's shaking her head yes. So we're going to do five of the Candy Crew patches that were only supposed to be given out at Rev. We are still going to give them out at the next Rev, but who knows when that'll be. I don't want to sit on patches forever. I want you guys to enjoy them too. So subscribe and leave a comment. That's all you got to do. We'll do the rest. Once we pick some random winners, we'll contact you, we'll verify it to you, and you'll get a patch sent your way. And I know everybody loves patches. International. Hey, okay. Yeah, so there you go. She said sh we will ship international. So all of you, Australians, Canadians, Brazil, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg. Yeah, I can't name them all. There's a lot of countries. I didn't realize how many countries there were until you guys started commenting what country you're from. Bonus, comment what country you're from. I'll say hi. Hi from the U.S. Now you say hi from... Hi from Uranus. That's a planet. That should be the intro. Hi from Uranus. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> not funny. I'm not funny. No. Then why does anyone watch this stupid airsoft show? I'll be in my trailer. I'm not leaving my trailer until I have a trailer. And throughout the year, you guys have had a lot of frequently asked questions and I always answer them in the comments, but I feel like a lot of you don't get to see the answers. So C7 Viper came from my first initial being C, the day I was born, the 7th. And Viper was the name of my account on an internet video game I played. I don't know if any of you guys remember Outwar. So I put that all together 13 years ago and made an account on this new website called YouTube. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I'll make videos for me and my friends because we play at this abandoned farm. So I strapped a literal digital camera to my head, not a GoPro, not a GoPro mount, on my head, and we recorded games. And that's how long I've been doing this, since before GoPros were a thing, since before YouTube was a thing. I've been playing for 20 years, been recording airsoft videos for 13. I hit 1.7 thousand subscribers 10 years ago. So recently, I hit 1,300 subscribers. That's you guys! And I said I would make a special video just for that occasion. I hit 3,000 subscribers nine years ago. It's happy 3,000 subscribers day. Yup, I got 3,000 subscribers last week. 3,000, 3,000. And this year, I finally hit hopefully 20K. That's up to you guys. My main goal has always been 100,000 because I want to unbox a YouTube play button right here. I want to have a play button more than I want the six foot long Chris Vector, more than I want an Emu, and more than I want a gold plated AK-47. And I've done all of this sans sponsors. Sans any kind of money until this year because now I'm finally a partner on YouTube. I've refused for years, they've begged me, and I finally joined up. I used to believe that nobody should have to watch any ads on any videos, nobody should have to pay to play at any fields. Then reality hit me and I realized things cost money. I can't make videos without money, I can't live without money, and airsoft fields can't stay open without money, so I had to do a little bit of growing up, but I hope you guys don't mind the ads. This was also the year of so many awesome inside jokes between me and you guys. Not only did we have Mabel, the cow t-shirt that you guys either loved or hated. There was no in between. But we had hashtag syrup gun gang. Oh, the familiar smell of maple syrup. I'm not kidding. Hashtag snacktical. Retractable stock. It's got a little compartment on the back. It's got like a little storage compartment. 123 storage compartment. You could also probably put like some Jolly Ranchers in there so that you can have a little tactical snack. Snacktical. And doodle duels. Doodle 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 doodle. Doodle duels. Doodle. Apparently, hashtag doodle duels is a thing now. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> and you, Protati P3. Protati P3. I forgot about that one. Tag Protati P. Prototype. Prototype. Tag prototype. 
Leaving that one in. We had the hashtag GoldenEye Gang because all of you know that GoldenEye is the best game for N64. Not Ocarina of Time. We started up the awesome Nick Pick fad where we beg airsoft retailers to send us crazy pictures, usually including Nicolas Cage, and it led all the way up to my couches being decorated with Nicolas Cage pillowcases on Christmas. My Nicolas Cage pillow so that when I sleep, he can be right there with me at all times. I don't regret a thing. And I really believe that in 2021, we're going to have so many more epic inside jokes, hashtags, and funny pictures to share between all of us. Some of the plans I have for 2021, I want to travel mostly around the country and play airsoft with all of you. Because not only do I call you my teammates, but I want to prove that it's true. I mean it. I want to show up on the field and hand out some patches, play some games, just tour the country doing some airsoft. Now, I might not get everywhere because of my lowly budget currently, but I have plans on going to a few fields already locally and maybe a little farther out. One of the places I want to travel to is SS Airsoft in Georgia. They have an awesome airsoft field, an amazing store. Many of you may remember that I bought several things from them this year. It showed up immediately with great competitive prices and I'm not getting paid to say that. I just really like them. They're nice. I want to travel to their store and field and maybe play for a weekend. I know they said something about a player appreciation weekend sometime in the spring. I'm going to shoot for that but it wouldn't hurt to go one or maybe even two times this coming year. There are a few local fields to me within one or two hours drive. I know there's a field that Pam H plays at in Maryland. I want to check that out. Again, I'd like to say thank you to all of you for watching, liking, commenting, and especially subscribing. Happy New Year to every one of you teammates of mine. And remember, if you want a patch, leave any comment below. Even you smart guys that just say any comment, it still counts. And we're gonna pick five random comments in a couple of days, just whenever. And I'm gonna contact the winners to get a Candyman patch. As always, like it if I made you laugh because I'm gonna continue doing it throughout the year 2021. Don't forget, each and every one of you is my personal teammate and I mean that. And I hear you guys. I need a new intro. So here's a little bit of a sneak peek at the new intro. You're not going to get the whole thing, but 2021 will roll out at least one, maybe four new intros throughout the year. I don't know how to close out a video. I know how to close out this video. I'm not allowed to break this camera now, but I broke it several times in the past. So have a montage of me throwing stuff at the camera every single time. Go! I'm going to gun butt the camera off the edge now. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to 2021. The end. Stop.